Hi, it's Rob Cottingham. We're going to look at another way to add an RSS feed to your Google uh, dashboard. The reasons you might do that, well, for one thing, you might have a browser that's a little older or can't automatically handle RSS feeds, or you might need to manipulate that feed in some way and edit the address. Here's how you do that. First of all, let's get the address onto the clipboard. You might want to do that by uh, right-clicking on the link, or control-clicking if you're of the Mac persuasion, and then copying the link address. Or if you already have the link uh, and you've wanted to do some editing to it in a text editing program, and you then copy it that way. However you do it, you then have the link in your clipboard. You come over to iGoogle, and then you mouse over to here, the Add Stuff link. You're able to do an awful lot in, uh, in iGoogle. There are all sorts of widget, widgets that you could be adding. There's uh, weather, joke a day, you can have a little pet hamster if you want to. But we're going to go down here to add feed or gadget. We click that, a window pops open, and we are going to, you actually have to delete the little HTTP that appears there first, and then paste in your feed address. By the way, if your feed address, instead of starting HTTP colon, starts feed colon, you're going to need to change the word feed to HTTP. I don't know why that is. You just do. So if it's not working, see if that's the case. You click the Add button. You get the little status message loading. Then it tells you, hey, check mark, one of the happiest symbols you'll ever see in the social web. And it's been added successfully. Now you can come up here upper left-hand corner to back to iGoogle Home. You click there, and we now have the widget from that blog search.